So the budget then, um, a lot of media, David, just ponts on about fags and, and, and alcohol, but there's a hell of a lot more to it. I suppose it's the unsexy side, but for small businesses, it's the very important side, isn't it? I mean, you're, you're a figures person, aren't you? So out of 10, how do you think the budget was? For a new setup, I would have said uh, certainly it was uh, in the six to seven mark. Um, there are a lot of positives came from the budget. It was a budget about the deficit. Um, the deficit has got to be dealt with. It will be dealt with by growth. And there were a number of uh, measures in the budget, which were also trailed last December, which are going to encourage investment in, in uh, uh, businesses, businesses in Buckinghamshire, Buckinghamshire as well as everywhere else. Um, if I can just give you a couple of examples, um, there, is, uh, th there has been an extension to the relief for um, people who invest in the Enterprise Investment Scheme. This is a scheme that um, allows individuals to invest in new startup companies, which tend by their nature to be more risky. But in return for that risk, um, there are tax reliefs available to the investor. This encourages uh, anybody who has funds that they wish to invest in a new startup company. It gives them an income tax relief at 30% of the amount they put in. Um, the, if there's any gain on the shares they invest in, there's no capital gains tax when they sell them after three years. Um, and they can defer capital gains they made earlier, um, uh, and, and provided those gains are reinvested in a startup company. Uh, or an EIS company, should I say? So, if uh, that's for new setups, what if you've uh, you've set up in the last four years or a couple of well, years? Well, there, there, there is also something new called the seed EIS, seed EIS investment scheme, which is for brand new startups. Um, so that's companies that have been uh, trading for two years or less, and it's much smaller than the, the standard EIS, if you like, but it works on the same framework. But the tax reliefs are much, much more generous because the risks are much, are much higher for the investor. So, in fact, you can get 78% tax relief if you invest in a seed EIS company. Um, so, I can imagine that's going to be very attractive for many people. So, now, talk, quickly talk us through what, what you do for your living. And are you one of these um, people that uh, his lordship, the Chancellor, uh, hates because you're the ones that find out how to fiddle or <laughs> what he comes up with. Well, <laughs> fiddle is probably not a word I would use. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm a director of the uh, private client uh, services uh, department at Harwood Hutton and um, we um, advise our clients on tax uh, efficiency, how to make their affairs as tax efficient as possible. Um, I, I do take slight issue with the Chancellor when he, when he calls um, using the law to your advantage to minimise your tax payment as morally repugnant. Um, it is all legal and if, if, it is so, uh, if it is so bad then all he has to do is change the law, simplify the law and it will not be possible to, to use the existing legislation to minimise your tax. But I would venture to suggest that taking 52% of a hard-working person and then a lot of it being wasted on, for instance, um, a, a failed MOD procurement scheme or a failed NHS uh, um, uh, computerisation scheme is also questionable. So the, move on to the, the 50p uh, uh, tax, oh. the four, down to 45 um, to the common or garden someone that struggles to add up to an eight uh, means very little to me. So explain w what that all is about and ha are they benefiting? Are the rich people worse off, better off? Well, it the, 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 um, seems to be the one that's highlighted in all the press. That It, it is yeah. bound to be the one that's highlighted in all the press because uh, it was initially, it was a political move. It, I don't think when it was introduced by Alistair Darling, it was ever going to be designed to bring in a great deal more uh, revenue for the Exchequer and in fact this has proved to be the case. It has not brought in as much as they thought it was going to. Um, Chancellor Osborne's idea was that it was it made us uncompetitive uh, having such a high rate of tax and that being the case and the fact that it didn't bring in, bring in uh, much extra revenue it seemed to make sense to cut it but to me it seems he hasn't gone far enough. He's cut it to 45 percent that still seems to me an uncompetitive rate of tax. It's still not going to bring in much more revenue, and he's still got the political flack to deal with. 
Perhaps it might have been far better to take it back down to 40% where it used to be, make it a more competitive rate, um, and he would still have had the same amount of political flack anyway. So what other highlights of that you sat there, like the rest of us, watching it and going oh. through? What, what moments where you were rubbing your hands with glee thinking, <laughs> brilliant? I don't think... I don't think anybody was rubbing their hands with glee, <laughs> really. Um, no, I, th I think um, we, we are very positive about, about the budget, and particularly those measures I've mentioned that, that encourage inward investment into the UK um, for new businesses, because I think that is where the growth is going to be. That's where the employment is going to come from. Um, I, I, I don't see that, as you say, the minutiae of the budget, the, you know, the, the fags and the alcohol, makes a great deal of difference. Um, but um, I, I think it was, in all, um, a good budget for new business. I suppose, going back to the fags and uh, alcohol with petrol, isn't it? I suppose that's the only thing that perhaps could have been a bit nicer for uh, the small businesses and, or all businesses. All businesses, really. Yeah. Um, yes, and uh, it was a shame that there was uh, um, no real move on, on fuel prices because, of course, that is driving up costs for hauliers and, and all businesses. As what is it, 60%, is it? Uh, it's about that, I think, yes. So, it's you know, we moan at the, the, the oil barons and the companies for putting yeah. the prices up, but yeah. uh, it's 60% of that. Yes. Of that one pound forty, which it practically is now, um, is um, straight to the coffers of the Chancellor. It is indeed. Yes. Putting the budget slightly to one side, I mean, how do you think we're going to fare getting out of this doom and gloom? Um, it's it's not helped that brilliantly, but hopefully the, the budget will will do its part. I mean, how long are we going to have all this? Um, it's very difficult to say. Um, I think there is more doom and gloom. Um, uh, uh, if you like, expressed in the media, um, both the print media and uh, um, you know, radio and television. A, a much more gloomy picture is being painted than I think is, is the reality on the ground. Um, I'm, I'm optimistic. Um, I, I don't think it's, there are going to be any quick fixes. There's no quick solution and we could be in this position for a number of years. But I think the right steps are being taken uh, um, for growth and to deal with the deficit.